Another day, another demanded protection fee. The coins I've earned clink into their greedy hands while my back aches from hours of scrubbing filthy tables and floors. My world narrowed to this tavern, its patrons indifferent as these thugs bleed us dry. I repeat the drudgery daily, calluses thickening as dreams wither, a pittance to line their pockets while we suffer yawning hunger, our children wraiths with hollow eyes. I swallow outrage like bitter medicine, knowing it only breeds more grief, but injustice festers, drop by drop infecting the heart. In dark moments I see the city guards don deadened eyes, conditioned to ignore our plight. Even whispers of rebellion wither under the king's indifference to his people's despair. Others here sip rage like strong wine, cursing our lot. Some speak of base revenge against the undeserving to salve impotent fury. I harbor no cruelty, only questions. Are we not all equals under heaven? Do our lives mean so little? I search the eternally jaded eyes around me. Is this truly the fate we must accept? Obediently living and dying in squalor while leeches grow fat on our blood? This meaningless existence of perpetual servitude, reward constantly snatched away. My dreams once held hope of better things beyond this dingy corner of the kingdom. But as the days fade into gray eternity, so too does the fire within cowed into the numb drudgery of survival. What future awaits but a pauper's grave? I cannot abide it. These endless cycles of crushing labor and callous extortion, of muted rage and jaded resignation in the face of wrongs. Something must change lest my spirit break entirely. But what power does one lowly man have in the face of such mighty injustice? The days blur into one endless slog of grinding labor, my hands prune-skinned from harsh lye as I scrape crusted waste from the cookpots. Mindless repetition leaves ample time for my thoughts to wander. I glance at others who have toiled here for years, their backs permanently stooped, the fire of defiance long smothered in their eyes. They shrink from the swaggering collectors who breeze in to claim their pound of flesh from our sweat and toil. This life of thankless subservience corrodes the soul until we forget our own dignity. Once I dared to dream of escaping the sooty confines of this dingy tavern in a forgotten corner of the kingdom. But as the years pass, ambition withers in the face of unyielding reality. I will live and die in this very room, unknown and unmourned. But what injustice has condemned us to eke out our miserable lives in the shadow of parasites who grow fat on the blood of the powerless? Does the king not see us crushed under the boots of those who flout his law? Do we not have a right to the meager rewards of our labor? These questions burn my tongue, but to speak them aloud invites sudden tragedy. The collectors have ways of silencing uncomfortable notions. So I scrub and serve and seethe in silence as youth's spark gutters out, leaving only dull resignation. But the heart knows what the tongue dares not utter that this life of perpetual exploitation is no life at all. Something must change, or the last wisps of hope will flee this place forever, leaving behind only ghosts with haunted eyes who have forgotten how to dream. But what power does one lowly man have to defy the workings of the entire wretched world?